Oh, Smoke shoot. Dragon, what have you been thinking about, bud? Hives, and I just wanted to go away. Yeah. I, uh, so. You guys get hives? You got no, any allergies? I've never had them. Um, I don't think I've ever had them. I've, I had, there was a, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a laundry detergent at one point where something, but I had broken out to, in them. But uh, my mother had gotten me some steroids, and that helped a lot. Although the steroids made me jittery, but not to the extent like you're talking about. Oh, it's rough. That's nuts. So, like, you're talking big-ass, bulbous hives. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. They all end up kind of connecting together. Kind of like a road map? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, uh It's only happened once where, like, my eyes start swelling in my oh, that's mouth tough and spot. lips. That's why we got an EpiPen now. Do you um, really? Uh, am I allowed to talk about that? Yeah. Yeah, sure. We just the imaginary. Uh, found, yeah, yeah. Found an imaginary found it. one. Found it at the truck. park. Yeah, found it at the park. Is this 258? Uh, seven. Okay. Yep. Uh, so I know a guy, buddy, uh, Casey's big buddy uh, from Washington that he's never met, Mr. John Rodich. Oh, he, John. He is deathly allergic to beans. All I beans. think we've talked about this. Yeah. I don't think no, so. No, I don't think we have. Did we not? Okay, no. so like uh, cocoa beans, green, green beans? beans. Oh, no. Baked beans, kidney beans, navy beans, coffee beans, anything. Yeah. If he goes to a buffet, if we go to if we go to Stoll's Lakeview Restaurant to eat, and if they put the, the green beans are here, he can't eat one pan. He has to stay one pan away from the beans. So if you get the mac and cheese or the mashed potatoes, shit out of luck. You can't do it. Just for fear that if somebody took the bean spoon and served their whatever's with it and then put it back in the bean pot. Well, how does he get his fiber? Now, do you have a tick on your face? Is that what that is? Yeah, it is. I'll be damned. I've seen that baby coming. He, Where in the hell did that come from? God dang. You got beetles. What a f***ing shithole Maybe this is why I got hives. Will, will you take it? I don't. Why, <laughs> what do you want me to do it? I don't want freaking. Put it on the goddamn. Uh -oh. I don't want Lyme disease. Me well, neither. speaking of allergic, he'll make you not eat meat. Put it right there. Shit. Put it right there. Oh, I don't want to ruin the Kringle. Well, we're going to eat the Kringle. Okay. Here, put it on your knife blade and I'll torch his ass. Oh, oh! That had a little crunch. Uh oh! That means now, he, had he got the white star thing on him. I can't. A lone star tick. So those are the ones that'll make you allergic to meat. We've got a family member. Alpha gal. That's what uh, uh, hornets got it. Fish and feathers. I mean scales and fins and feathers. Anything with a cloven hoof, you can't eat it. Well, I wonder where that came. No, from. that's not uh, your true. face. Well, I know. I what do you mean? It, but when Shirley it's not had, just when Shirley and, uh, her cousins. Anything that breastfeeds. A mammal. She can't eat anything that breastfeeds. So surely name over one his? thing name one thing that we eat that doesn't have a cloven hoof that breastfeeds. Horses. We don't eat horse meat. You could. could. Yeah, but we don't. Uh Okay. Uh rabbits. Rabbits breastfeed? Yeah. Well, how do you think they fed them? I didn't know rabbits had tits. <laughs> I thought they just come straight out of the. Uh oh, now he's got the crawlies. You better get that <laughs> hat back on before these cameras blow up. You're awful shiny tonight, son of a bitch. You shaved today? Fresh shave this I morning. I imagine good gravy. Uh, so squirrels. I get uh, now squirrel tits. Squirrel, oh, squirrel tits. Be damn. I never thought of that way. Josh oh, said when he went to the doctor, they told him it was anything. That's where almond milk comes from. Almond milk? <laughs> it's all the nuts. Ah, look at that one. This is a good one. I don't think I've ever had full-blown hives. Now, the warden, she but she's, she's had it Can before. we get back to Shirley? Is he over his beat out? Yes, yes, yes. So yes, what did yes, he yes. do to get over it? Just kept trucking and got sick. Mm. Just kept going. Uh, yeah, just... That's the American way to do it. That, I mean, I, I know two people that have done that and just kept trucking. We may know the same of the other one. Spud. Yeah. So they, they had it bad, and, like, he just kept going. Now, it depends on your level of allergy to it, like how bad you got it, like the number-wise, I guess. But, like, there's other people that if you have alpha-gal, 
and you eat a cheeseburger, like it could be like game over. Like you're going to need that imaginary uh, heavy pen. go juice in Epine- your, epinephrine in your leg or something. But. That's so sigma. Yeah, that's totally mid, bitch. Like what does I would that mean. No, cap, I don't know. He no, said alpha gal, and no I was cap. thinking sigma. <laughs> Uh, so back on topic here, after we've uh, destroyed that tick on Casey's face that probably just uh, unattached himself from your shiny ass head, I uh, I don't like. I think the worst. You want to check me for ticks, big boy? I can. I can. Shiny it's ass. Probably you're gonna. We're gonna need to look at your genitals. I mean, that's usually where they go. The old genitals. or your armpits, armpits and genitals is the two hot spots for males. I've had a tick on my nuts before, 100%. Oh, I've yeah. had one on my pecker once. On your penis or your scrotum? Yeah. On your scrotum. No, kind of in between. Right there on the base? I've, mm-hmm. I've had the base one. Of the shaft. I've had one right there on, on yeah. the bad boy. Yeah. On now, your, see, on your grandma, unit, on yeah. your penis yeah. itself. Yeah. Whenever we had ticks as kids, grandma would get a needle or like a safety pin and get a Get it mask. real hot. So it let go because she always said if you try to rip it off and that head stays in there, You're fucked. you'll get the line. Screwed, I mean. So... I called Jenna asking for a safety pin or something where she would hide such because she wasn't here. So I got that effort cherry hot, and I'm I'm a big guy, guys. Like there's it's some, tough to see that area sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do you hover over a mirror or? Well, by a mirror, but then you got the left is the right. Next thing oh, you know, a darn mirror gave myself oh one of them. Uh, one of them Jacob marks. Jacob's well, ladder. Or a- <laughs> well, yeah, that's how you pierced ears back in the day. Hot huh? <laughs> safety pin and a potato. <laughs> that was a potato away from. Barbell on that uh, bad boy. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> then I put uh, you gotta tried self- some mint extract yep. or something. And yep. Alcohol and a cotton ball usually work too. Thin in the skin down there, boys. Um. Yeah. But anyway, you gotta um, watch them ticks. Yeah. I, I guess they're the real, fuzzy feller. I guess they're real bad in the Northeast. They're real bad everywhere, really. I think. Like I don't. That's why there's songs about them. Yeah. Well, check you, dicks. Oh, I got no. It's just, I can't go there. Anyway, um, how does Bub ever get checked for ticks? Now, thinking about the conversation he had that uh, with his backside all fuzzy and nobody's ever allowed to see it. Remember that? God dang, he'd never get checked. You got a guy, but you got a buddy with a furry ass that he won't. Yeah, let, but let... he don't let like his his uh, his missus was talking about it. How she's never really seen it because he's real like particular about not that's weird i just conscious about his ass sweater i just get the i just get the mirror out and i just check like i don't yeah yeah i don't look i just feel i bet yeah. you do i mean my nut sack like when i wash it <laughs> oh okay like i feel for ticks and uh, other yeah. and testicular yes and growths. lumps and things you need like to that. do that i do i do every time i wash my shit yeah, yeah. every time every time yeah huh. i because i have a cyst on my one ball it's been there since I was like 14 or 15, 16. Like kind of away from everything else? Like it just I've had it ultrasound. And does stuff it seem like, like a third nut? No. It's just like a, you know, like your balls are like almond shape or like mm-hmm. egg oval. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, mine's just got like a little thump like off the one side of it. Like can it e- easily tell like when you check? 100%. The- yeah. Same size, same thing, same texture. Maybe your just testicle kind of grew a little wonky. I have no idea. I mean, I went to a dick doc and I got it. Uh, the dick doc on TikTok. Hey, it's Doctor Something on um, the dick doc on TikTok. Is that a real thing? Yes, sir. Okay. I uh, went and had a. It ultrasounded. Yeah. I told you that story where they told me to take this small hand no. towel and flop your penis up on your belly and then. Oh, I thought that was when you had the. Well, uh, the same uh, thing. Uh, Did you warn the doc about it that you had a growth on your nut? Yeah, cut you open? I mean that's why I was there. You should have had him like lob that off when he. Oh no 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 no! I mean like when I was at the. Did you just do that? He's a world class <laughs> air dicker. I was uh, no like I found this on my nut and then I freaked out and I told my dad and everything and then he's like because and my like I said my dad worked one of his coworkers' son actually. Uh, Passed away from testicular cancer. Oh, really? At a very young age. Just talking to somebody at work who's got a friend <clears throat> who's boy. I had a friend that had testicular cancer and had to do some like targeted radiation and shit like that, and ended up everything. Come, I mean, he's he's got kids and everything. It worked out in his favor, but like, it's nothing to f- around with. So PSA: check your nuts and check them, check them and check them often. Check them. Liberty check. Mutual Tests and Supplies. Um, Wilford Brimley says, check it and check it often, but. I went to the doctor to get my ultrasound done on my testicular nut, 
uh, nut, my testicular nut. I, I, I was going to say nodule, uh, the cyst there. And they, they told me to um, flop my penis up on my belly and cover it with this towel. And then that way. Did you the, just tell them you didn't have that much to work exactly with? exactly what I said. I said, hey, I'm going to be completely open. I can and, tuck her under the mud flap if you don't. Yeah, I said, I'm going to be completely open and honest with you here. Like, I don't really, uh, my my penis is not long enough to flop up there like that. Like, I'm not much of a flopper guy. I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> who the hell uh, do you guys see all the time? Uh, that that's the advice yeah, you get. I don't know who these long dong bastards you're in here nutting around with, but mine ain't like that. <sighs> but no, when I had my vasectomy, he had to tape it out of the way. Yeah, he's like, well, go ahead and tape this out of the way. Doc, don't need to mess with this guy. It's exactly what this woman told me. I was so f***ed up on Valium, I wouldn't have cared if she taped a sandwich to my eyelid. I don't. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered to me. But anyway, uh, back on the old now, hives. Was your nut cyst on the same side of your body your ankle cyst was on? I don't know. I'd have to check real quick. You don't have to do it now. I'm just curious. I don't want to get got my ball juice all over my computer. Here. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to have to use your computer and have your nut juice on my computer. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if it was uh, uh, relative to my ganglion cyst on my ankle or not. I had my, my cyst was on my right ankle. But I don't know what nut that's on. Actually, matter of fact, I don't. I don't know. It's weird. Weird to think about. Like I don't know which one it is. So. A lot of ailments, uh, a lot of hives. Don't don't get much hives now. I'll tell you one thing that I did get screwed up by yesterday, and that was them cotton picking multiflower rose bushes. Did you now, see that? Yeah, Snapchat? and I didn't understand. God First, I just mighty. saw the picture of your leg, and I'm like, must have got a skeeter bite. And then oh, I saw the rest. No, no. See, I don't mess around like that. I I dag on. If I can't get close enough to mow the line, I make the line stick out farther. Where I can mow over them or back down over. Well, them. see, I don't want. I, I gotta. I don't want my. I don't want them to keep intruding onto my grass. So you gotta mow it back further, make the grass go further. I'm saying you just dive in before you get there and mow it over. Well, this one here is so steep. I probably wouldn't be able to back up. Mm. It's on my lake dams where that's mm. yeah. So yeah, anyway, that's a problem. 